Daily Lions blog for the 6th of September, 2020. Uh, there's a picture in the caption, which I think uh, says like, uh, I don't know, like 500 words. No, more than that. Like, I don't know, 1,500. Nah, you know, somewhere in between. Ah, a thousand words? A thousand words. The picture is Robin Leonard, the goaltender for the Vegas Golden Knights, and Tyler Mott, forward for the Vancouver Canucks, giving each other a handshake and a hug. And why that says a thousand words is because Robin Leonard, uh, about a year and three months ago, was accepting an award in the National Hockey League. And he talked about his really incredibly difficult struggles with bipolar and with addiction. And that was hugely important for a lot of people to see him doing that at that time, especially since he had such a great year. And the statement was that you can get over uh, an illness to the point where you can go back to excelling at your job. And then Tyler Mott, this past January, the Vancouver Canucks came out and said, you know, I have had severe depression and anxiety over the course of my career as well. And these two guys went head to head, faced each other. Uh, they went seven games in the end. Robin Leonard had three shutouts in four games. Uh, and they gave each other a hug, which essentially was, here, I'll give you a hug, Casey. No. No? No. We don't hug. Uh, you got to open the door for Riggs so he can get in. Go ahead. You can do it. You can do it. Go ahead. Nice job. Steady shot in all of that. But they gave each other this hug. And you know what the hug to me said? And I'm sure I'm kind of just creating this in my head. But it's like, dude, in Tyler's case, saying to Robin, Thank you for paving the way for me. Thank you for speaking last June about your battles, which gave me the confidence in January to talk about my own. And Robin thinking to himself when he's talking to Tyler, you know what? I'm so proud of you, given the fact that um, this was really hard for you. And I think it's so important, not because their lives count any more than your life or my life or anybody else, but because when we perceive people as being really strong, which we do with hockey players, mentally strong, physically strong, when we perceive that, oh, look who's back, and then we find out that they're battling mental illness, we go, well, I guess maybe... It can't be about weakness. The two do not work together. Either mental illness is a weakness and therefore would not affect hockey players, or it's not a weakness, it's just a sickness, and it does. So powerful. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day. Three, uh, 425 days a year. Can't tell what the score is. The Raps playing right now. The Raps game started. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh -huh.